Hi everyone! Welcome back to another Friday episode of HGTV Handmade with me, Anne. So spring is now officially here. I'm so excited because it's one of my favorite seasons and I want to welcome it back into my home with a beautiful door decoration hanger. So I'm going to personalize mine by making the letter H, which stands for home and HGTV Handmade. So let's get started with this. Okay, so a list of materials you would need for this project are some fake flowers, a letter base, and if you can't find one from your local craft store, then you can also make this with cardboard paper. You will also need some craft paint and a brush, a ribbon, two tacks, and of course, a hot glue gun. So let's start by painting the letter with a white craft paint. And of course you can personalize this to any color you want. I just want to paint this white and although I will be covering this with some fake flowers, a little bit of this will peek through and I prefer this over the raw wood. As my paint set to dry, what I'm going to do next is take apart the flowers. So some of these I can just pop them right off, but if you can't then just take a pair of scissors and cut them off. When it comes to selecting the flowers, I would just select colors that I like and I normally work around three colors or so. And as you can see right here, I have different shapes and texture flowers. I like to use the smaller ones as fillers and then the bigger flowers are my main centerpieces. Before applying the glue on for a permanent stick, I usually like to lay my flowers out and see how I like them to be arranged. And if I like them, then I leave them there and then I take out my hot glue gun and glue each piece on. Take your time arranging these flowers and if you're making this for family or somebody you know, then have fun with this. Customize it according to what you think that person would like. This is a really fun project to just admire afterward. That's what I love, love about DIYing. Okay, so this part right here, I took out my string or you can take a ribbon as well and I'm using tacks to keep them in place. So you can either push this in or hammer it in place. You can also use a little glue for extra security. After you're done, it's now time to hang up your wreath and admire the beauty you just created. This is such a wonderful way to introduce spring and color into your life. All right, everyone, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't seen my last video, I have it right here for you. And I will talk to you next Friday. 